Daria, welcome to the show. The first time I came across your work was about a year and a half ago. And I have to say, I was blown away by your work. I was absolutely blown away. It had a, a certain presence to it, a certain depth to it. A person can be provocative and not be afraid of other people's opinion. Yep. They're usually like, well, you are too young. Probably when you grow up, you will go away from this dark, macabre style. style. You don't understand. There is not only beautiful, but it can be sometimes ugly, beautiful, you know. Mm. The inspiration usually coming from, it can be from everywhere. You can be on the plane listening to uh, some new music of Hans Zimmer, and then you're like, oh my God. Mm. You start into, you know, closing your eyes, and then you see all these things in your eyes. We've got a question from Bob, and he's asking, can you explain the lighting in some of your pictures? Yeah, I will try, I'll try. You do a lot of photography of women. Do you also photograph men and children? I do, actually. How long do you take to imagine a scene and then to get it to a shoot? Uh, it depends. Do you have a background in art or graphic design? How do you set your prices for photography or for bookings? Well, it's better if you ask a client, how, no sunlight here, no, nothing like this, because it was winter time, okay. it was evening, it was goddamn cold. The sort of balance between doing uh, a commercial shoot compared to your own photography, where your style is probably slightly too threatening for commercial work. Yes, at yeah. the beginning I was very worried that I'm going to lose my style. I absolutely love this shot, right? But the, your choice to say, right, I'm going to put that dark skin model behind that light skin model's head and have a look there and then have the sunlight glance. I mean, it's a very unusual composition, mm. but it just works. It's amazing. What do you shoot with? What's your lenses? What lighting? What extra bits and pieces do you generally tend to use? Seven years or six years ago, I got my... Well, as you know, social media is one of the most important things today for photographers, especially. And in the middle of Moscow, in Radisson Royal Hotel, we brought 250 kilograms lion <laughs> at night. I had three hours to shoot it. It was so complicated. And then when we kept it in the shower room, there was a working guy who was cleaning everything and he didn't know about that. So he opened that bathroom and he saw... <laughs> <laughs> he saw a lion. 